A daring rescue cheating the sea of 69 victims. It begins in Ireland. The Bermuda Sky Queen, a giant flying boat, takes off bound for America. Unexpected headwinds eat up petrol dangerously and pilot Charles Martin decides to land near the United States weather ship Bib, 800 miles northeast of Newfoundland. Despite gale winds and 37-foot seas, he makes a perfect landing. Then for the plane's 69 passengers, 34 of them British, begins a 24-hour ordeal. After a day and night of heroic seamanship by the Bib's crew, all are saved and the Bib heads for Boston. The plane, hopelessly damaged by the great seas, is sunk. But her passengers, among them 15 women and 13 children, are safe. Boston gives rescued and rescuers a tumultuous welcome. The 62-year-old Mrs. Last tells her story. Our merchant marine boys who have been so wonderful on the plane organized everything from the plane. And we were put onto the raft. Not knowing it, our raft had been cut adrift and we were drifting. But the United States Cutter lifeboat picked us up. That boat was swamped. By a miracle, it was brought to the side of the ship. I was washed overboard by a heavy wave, and this boy, Ralph, God bless him and his mother for bringing such a boy into the world. May they always have the richest blessing that Almighty God can bring upon such a family. They, they saved me. He saved me. And I'm now here to tell you the story. <laughs> Behind these survivors is an ordeal of cold, dangerous, hungry, seasick hours aboard the crippled plane. And the triumph of brave men over angry seas, repeated trips in small boats and fragile rafts through mountainous waves, ends with happy reunions on Constitution Wharf in Boston. And at the close of a crowded week came a tragedy which shocked the nation.